to be my friend. From the clothes guard with no geese, grips is all you have. Okay? Remember, you have seatbelt grip. Okay? You also grab on your kind of wrist. Gable grip. Okay? You kind of have this S grip, but typically that's when you need that extra space because the guy's big or so forth. Okay? Typically, use the seatbelt or the gate. Gable switches. Okay? Remember, this with the thumbs, you never want to do. Okay? Because from here, I can't break his posture down. Okay? Because he's going to want to posture. So my legs have to do work also. Okay? And then my hands could be here. Oh. Okay? And I immediately go under his arm. Right? And I have a gable grip. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling down with the left hand. The right hand comes down, palm down, pulling down, and I open up my chest here. Okay? So here, what I want to make sure is that he can't kind of pull away from me, and I'm hanging on him, chest kind of inflated, so it takes up space. If I'm here, he has more space. Go ahead. See how he kind of can tuck his head under? So I'm here, okay, and I'm here. I'm just going to take my right foot, put on the mat, turn to my left side, okay, bring my left elbow up, and, and kick his knee out. Okay, one more time. When you're passing guard and uh, with no gi, you don't have the post and you don't have the gi to create posture. So you really have to be sitting back. You need to break his posture. I have to break him down with my legs and my hands to keep the posture. Okay. But now it's hard for him to begin to pass the guard. So what would you do to pass the guard here? So look, remember, you have hands here on the elbows, and I'm pulling him in and I'm crunching. He begins to apply a little bit of pressure to posture. Look, pull him out, right hand, left hand goes for the underhook. Gable grip, okay? Kind of taking my breath in and pinning him to my chest, attaching my chest. From here, my, my knees aren't squeezing, but they're still pinching as my right foot goes to the mat. And my right knee is connected to his hip. As I turn on my left side, my right knee is still connected here. I turn so that my left leg can uh, spur his leg, and I'm just gonna extend and I'm gonna arch away. Okay. As I begin to attack and cross those arms over. I'm not in danger of him putting me in a half guard here because his arm is under control. I'm more in danger of a half guard on the opposite side. Okay? So what you're gonna do is, always gonna stay crunched, okay? Because the more crunched I am, the more I'm gonna force him to lean forward, okay? From here, grab the elbows and I roll them out. From here, my right hand goes behind the head, left hand pummels in, okay? Very important, okay? From here, taking a deep breath. Attach him to the chest. Right foot goes on the mat, but I am connected to his hip with my right knee. See, I'm turning on my side, and I'm still here at this left leg. Even if he, he'll, he'll move that right knee up, okay? And look from here. Okay, and you get to the top, all right? I wanna get off. Get off, I could be here, I could do all kinds of stuff. Okay, last time. Crunch, pull the elbows, right hand over the head, left hand under hook, gable grip, chest out, right on the mat, turn, left leg, kick it out, and now. Okay, from here. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Please help your partners understand what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go, Bernie, please. 